As an all through school, we have a really good understanding of the transition point from year six into year seven. Lots of our students obviously come from other primary schools, but our ability to work across phase means that we can tailor a year seven curriculum to really support that transition. So we start from uh, very early on, so we start by sending out lots of information uh, to all our feeder primary schools. We also have our open evening where they can come in and have a look and we have open mornings where they can come in and have a nosy round and see the school actually alive and bustling with all the children in. Once they get offered a place at the school, we send them out lots of information in the post about the school, a welcome pack, introducing everything. I then go out and visit the primaries, meet the teachers, meet the students, introduce them to what they can expect when they start here. Then we have a meeting with their parents, again to discuss the needs of the children, whether there's anything we're missing or that we need to know extra so we can support them in school. Following that we have an evening where they can come in and meet their form tutors, um, get to experience lots of nice games and team building activities and then we also have our open day where they'll get to come round all together the whole of Year 7 and meet all the teachers and all the students. Every student that um, comes to Bolton St Catherine's Academy will meet with the senior member of staff and be given a welcome pack which is a, a booklet that has everything you need to know in it. It will have the routine of the day, it will have the structure of the day, it has pictures of the pastoral staff who will be key to ensuring the smooth transition. The beginning of Year 7 is really exciting. Um, we put lots and lots in place in that first couple of weeks to support students to just find their feet. So we have a staggered start so that we, the Year 7s can kind of get used to the building, meet the staff and get a sense of how everything works before all the other students arrive. We put lots of events on in that first week so all of our Year 7s go off to the Hampton Centre where they get an opportunity to build some relationships with the new members of their forms that they haven't met and they don't know, build some relationships, start to build some lasting friendships. We've got Year 11s who've left this year who talk about having met in an activity at the Anderton Centre in Year 7 and are now leaving really close friends having done five years of school together. So I think even if you're arriving not knowing anybody, you will walk out of that first week having found some good friends and having found some people you can spend time with and enjoy doing school with. There's lots of things for our new Year 7s to get involved in. We partner as well with you know older students doing a bit of a buddy system um, and so there's, there's no need to be worried at all. Um, we're, we're very supportive as a school whether it's through staff or peer-led support. There's loads of things for people to get involved in. All the students are really friendly with each other. They all feel very, very comfortable and very much at home. It's such a great friendly family environment really. The pastoral team were all based in one office and the children are invited to come and meet us in that first few days so they know who everyone is. And even though I'm the head of year seven, if they've ever got a problem, they can go and meet any of the other heads of year. And it's always an open door. Particularly in Orchard, we look at the whole school, the whole child from a holistic point of view. So their nurturing needs, their well-being, in terms of their academic outcomes as well. We all look at it as one parcel in school. And there's lots of people here who will support you through things. And there's lots of teachers who will support you as well. This year, we've got a summer school starting. Uh, in the, fact of the week before school starts and we've got lots of students with some uh, coming in to enjoy some academic experiences. We've got Man United Foundation coming in, working with them and during that week we will teach them our, our Bolton St Catherine's routines. Summer school was a little bit of a sneak peek to what you're going to do in school and it kind of got to show you where things are in the school as well. There was a bunch of different activities like Manchester United Foundation Army work and it was really fun and we got to do cooking and it was really fun. Breakfast Club basically is for um, the kids to start the day off well in the morning, um, opportunity for them to come into school at the breakfast. We offer toast, um, fruit, yogurts, drinks. It's a brilliant opportunity as well for them to meet new friends. Um, they are a great bunch, they like a little family really. RISE stands for recognition, inspiration, support and engagement. 
and it's a really short, focused, sort of 10, 15 minutes of getting students in the right frame of mind, setting them up for their days, making sure that they're work ready, but also taking time to celebrate how the day before has gone, uh, praise students who've met our values, because those values of believe, strive, care and achieve are really central to RISE, they, they feature in there a lot. But it's really about setting them up and preparing them for the day so that they can then go off to their first lessons in the right frame of mind, ready and, and kind of uh, prepared. So in form, we start out, we double check that everyone's got all their equipment and then we would do the register and we go through the steps to success. So we'll talk about if students have been achieving their excellence all day and have got all ones or twos, and if someone's had a problem and they've got a three or a four in the day, we'll talk about that and see if we can rectify that so everyone has a great day for the rest of the day. And then we will be working through, usually it's a booklet going through the information, and we also sign planners and, so, and talk about um, students' attendance, punctuality, organisation. There's lots of people that will be able to help and guide you and you're going to have a great time. For those of you that have chosen to come to us in September, don't be worried, don't be anxious. We already know so much about you. Uh, our pastoral team have had individual conversations with your Year 6 teacher. Uh, we've had an uh, individual meeting with yourself and your parent. We already know an awful lot about you. Uh, you get time in September uh, on your own in the school, so you'll be able to acclimatise yourself uh, around the building, um, meet with your form teachers, meet with the, the, the prefects who are going to be supporting you, uh, meet with the Christian-based youth team who are going to be there to support you, meet with Miss Espy from Man United who's going to be there to support you. Um, we're going to make sure that that transition is as smooth as we possibly can um, because we know so much about you already and you're going to have lots of opportunities to feel comfortable and feel safe in the building.